These testimonials are representative of my or our experiences, but the exact results and experience will be unique and individual to each person. The information provided herein is not medical advice and is not intended to substitute for the advice of your personal physician or other healthcare providers. Welcome to The Beautiful Bag. This is your host, Leanne Hayden, cancer survivor, and more importantly, ostomy lifer. Each and every week, I'm going to be bringing a special guest or some inspiration for you and a few little stories along the way so that you can learn what life is like for us to be living in an well, ostomy hello, and why we all think it's a beautiful bag. Beautiful so bag listen in and I let's get started. Leanne Hayden, and it was so great to have you here with me this week. So this week, we're going to talk about confidence, how to build it, where it comes from, how to fight that voice in your head, all of those wonderful things. But before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that starting on August 10th <laughs> in Houston, Texas, there is the UOAA conference in Houston, Texas for all of us ostomates. And I was just looking at the list. I will be there. You can find me at the um, Hollister booth. So come by and say hi if you're going. If you're not going, we will definitely miss you. And let's make sure that you um, can come and join us next year, right? So these events are great for just all of us to get together, share stories, get to know each other, listen to doctors and nurses and other ostomates, um, you know, share their thoughts and ideas, um, give their advice, right? Give their advice in their sessions and, and all of that fun stuff. So I will be again at the Hollister booth on uh, Friday and Saturday. I believe those are the days, Friday and Saturday. Um, so stop on by during the booth uh, exhibit hours and come say hi to me. So let's get into talking about confidence and building confidence and where does it come from and how can you get better at it, right? So I was doing a training this past week. Uh, it was a Tony Robbins uh, and Dean, um, can't remember his last name right now, but they did an own your future uh, free challenge that they do annually. And so I decided why not do it again? I've done it in the past. Why not do it again? And let's see what I can come up with for myself, right? Um, I'm always one of those people that I want to learn. And when I learn, then I can teach and I can share any of the insights that I got. But one of the days was um, Jay Shetty. So Jay Shetty used to be a monk, right? So now he makes, you know, he makes millions of dollars and teaches all kinds of wonderful things and how to express yourself and how to step out of your comfort zones and all of those wonderful things. And he, you know, he's even written a book, right? So, but he used to be a monk and he said, and I thought that this was very interesting. He had said that if you Googled, will I ever the first things that come up other than a song, because there is a song, but other than a song, the first things that come up are, will I ever find love? And the second thing is, will I ever be enough? And then the third thing was, will I am net worth? <laughs> so those he says were the first three things. So if you Google it, um, that's what he says comes up. So I want to talk about the, will I ever be enough? Because that is something that comes up for all of us, all of us throughout our lives. Um, a lot of very, very successful people talk about the imposter syndrome that they feel sometimes before they go to get up on stage or before they go to get to do something. And, you know, I felt it over the years. I still feel it over the years when I'm like, you know, will I ever be enough? Or, and it comes out like this. So here we are, we have this podcast, you're listening now. And I have to thank you so much for always joining in and listening. So sometimes when I think about the podcast and I'm thinking about what to say or what to do, I'm like, Am I good enough to do this? Is it really making a difference? 
who's going to really want to listen to these stories? Who's really going to take something from this? And is it really helping? I'm not that good. I'm not that good of a speaker. I'm not that good of a, a host. I really don't know what I'm talking about. I really don't ask the right questions. Those are all the thoughts, guys, that even just with this one podcast, and I can take this into other things over time, but just in this one podcast, those are some of the things that go on in the head, right? And it's that, am I good enough to do this? And can you imagine, because if I didn't create this podcast, if I had listened to the noise in my head, that voice in your head, and when you're saying what voice in my head, that's the voice in your head, guys. It's the thing that questions you all the time. It's the one that will challenge you all the time. Like we are our worst critics. So imagine if I didn't, if I listened, if I listened to that voice of, I'm not good enough. Will I be enough? Is this enough? Will I ever be enough? And if I ever listened, sat down and listened to those voices in my head, well, this podcast never would be, it would never be. We wouldn't have the hosts and the guests that I have had here on this podcast. We wouldn't have the stories that have been shared, the lives that have been changed over the last two and a half years. I mean, we've had over 15,000 downloads of this podcast, you know, through the episodes and people have been willing to share their stories. If I didn't, then they wouldn't have been able to share their stories here. If I didn't, then maybe people would have not been, would still be not knowing that there are other people and that you're not alone. If I didn't, right? So if I had listened to those vo that voice in my head, and if I had fallen to the thing of, I'm not good enough to do this, then we wouldn't be here at this stage. And we can put this into all the perspectives, all of the things that we do in our lives. I know some of you have asked me about, you know, how can I be more of an affiliate, not an affiliate, an, um, an ambassador or an advocate for the ostomy community. And, you know, I can give advice on what you can do. You can come be on this podcast. You can share people's stories onto your own social medias. You can share this podcast on social media you know, to, so that other people know that it's out there. Um, you can share your story. You can make posts on social media. You can reach out to the manufacturing companies of the products that you use and tell them you want to speak out a little bit more. You can, um, you can offer your services. You could write something for a newspaper or an article for a magazine and submit it. You can submit your pictures to things. You could step out of the box and post a picture out on social media. A lot of people aren't comfortable with that. But again, if you're not doing it and you're not doing those things because you have that voice in your head that says, I'm not good enough, will I be enough? Know this, you are enough. As you are, as you are in this moment, you are more than enough. And this world needs to hear your message. It needs to know, people need to know that we're not alone on this journey. We're not alone here, you know, going through the illnesses and the sicknesses and the hospital visits that people have talked about over and over and over again, you know, on the show, you know, you are way more than enough. And sometimes it takes a little practice and sometimes it takes, um, the term, I don't even like, I don't like the term fake it till you make it right. Um, do it until you become it. I like that better. Do it until you become it. Do something every single day until you feel that feeling of, you know what? I am good enough to do this. I am making a difference because you are making a difference every time you share your story. You know, every time you try something new, every time you, you know, step out of your box and it can be scary and it can be frightening and it can be, you know, you don't, everybody just wants to feel loved, right? In, in this world, that's really it. Everybody just wants to feel like they matter and 
and what they're doing means something and that they're loved and they're cared about and we're taken care of. And I need you guys to know that you are, um, even if in your own life, you're not, there are people out here that know and love you and care about you a ton and you are enough. You are more than enough. So what you can do is to start doing certain practices to get yourself comfortable, right? You could do things like, you know, read, make, write some affirmations for yourself, one-liner affirmations for yourself that you read every single day until you really truly believe it and feel it on the inside. And sometimes you're going to have these days of, oh, no, 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 I'm not good enough. I'm still not, it's not there. And you need to stop in that, in that moment, if you can recognize that that voice is doing that to you in that moment, you can say, stop, no, this is not true. This is not true. I am good enough. I can do this. I am willing to step out of my box. I am willing to take a chance. I am good enough. And as long as you recognize that those those negative sayings are in your head and you twist it and you put it into a positive perspective, it's not just being positive. What do they call our positive poly or whatever it is? It's not that you're just positive. You end up getting to a place where you truly feel good and needed and wanted and believe in yourself. And when you're out there and you're sharing your message, let me just tell you this. If you go post on social media, and you're like, you know what? I posted on social media. I stepped out of my box. I took my chance. I did the I did the thing. And one person liked it. It didn't get a whole bunch of attention. It didn't get a whole bunch of likes and comments and all this stuff. Guys, it's still one person that liked it. It may be a family member. It may be your mother, right? Who cares? You took the chance and you're building your confidence. And let me tell you, when it comes to social media, it is so, people are sick of it. Let me just tell, let me just say it straight. People are sick and tired of social media, right? It has become, I was reading, I was looking at a statistic and it is, uh, people are on social media 30 minutes a day now. So know this, if you're posting something and people are scrolling, they, they'll, they're probably seeing it. They're probably doing something with it. It's probably sitting in the back of their head at some point, but people are only on social media for 30, 30 minutes. So take your chances and step out of your comfort zones because you are making a difference in someone's life. And as I always say, I love to have everyone's stories. I love to share your stories here on the podcast. It doesn't have to be a, a video conference if you're shy, but if you want to share your story and just have the audio play, more than happy, more than happy to, um, to help you do that. And I also wanted to let you guys know too, that I do have a free guide on my website. So if you go to leannehayden.com backslash confidence, there is a free guide for you. I put your email address in there and I will send you the free guide on some steps that you can take to help build that confidence. It will give you some affirmations. It will help you with some meditation and some other ideas, some other things that you can do to start to build that confidence in yourself and that belief in yourself. So that is really all I wanted to share with you this week. Next week, I have a great guest. It's going to be something a little bit different, a little bit not in the norm of what I do, but I think it's going in the in the direction of where this podcast seems to be going. And it's building on the confidence and the knowing, the knowing you, the knowing your body, the knowing your mind. I think, though, I truly believe the more we know um, about ourselves, the more self-aware we are with what's going on in our heads, in our bodies, the better we can become. And I want you truly to be the best version of you that you can be. Listen, we're here on this earth. We've got a second chance in life. Some of you, even a third chance in life. Let's not waste it. Let's not waste what the gifts that we've been given and the reason that we're here. And if you're struggling with knowing the reason, Stay tuned in the podcast because you're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out together along the way. So if you um, ever want to reach out to me, 
it's just go to the website, leannehayden.com and shoot me a message on there. Or you can just email me at leanne at leannehayden.com. And I will love to answer it. I'd love to connect. Uh, follow me on Instagram. That's the typical, that is the platform that I use the most. So follow me on Instagram. If you want to connect with me there as well. And as always, if you share this podcast episode, tag me in it so that I can reshare it. Um, I love the love and I appreciate you guys so, so much. The other thing that you can do that would be extremely helpful to continue to grow the awareness um, and these wonderful stories over the last two and a half years that have been told is if you could go to Apple, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Google, if you could leave a rate and write a beautiful review, I would forever be grateful for it. <laughs> but in, in the meantime, don't forget, go over to the website, grab your free confidence guide that I have for you there. And if you're going to the convention starting this week, I am so looking forward to meeting you in person. Until the next time, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining us this week. If you enjoyed this podcast, get the behind the scenes at leannehayden.com slash ostomy updates. And also, if you found this episode encouraging, please screenshot it and share it on Instagram. And don't forget to tag me and also the person who was on the episode with me. I occasionally will do special gifts for anyone who does do a screenshot and share it on Instagram or in your stories. Also, lastly, please go to Apple or Google, rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast to keep up with them every single week. I enjoy you guys. Thank you so much for being here.